so as well as well as being an incredibly good chef and uh, and running a school canteen and managing our house and helping us with all of the work that we do out the community fee is the best negotiator you've ever seen especially when you're here at the local markets now today we're not at the at the, the vegetable markets or the meat markets we're at Kampong where are we Kadongan and fish markets and this is where the fishermen come out of the water Whoop. I'll get right over here I'll give you a quick look at the place there's a million bikes and there's also a million boats and these boats you see the guys sitting there working on the nets and getting the boats ready to go out for the night and they'll head out into the bay or up, up around Uluwatu Peninsula somewhere but there's giant big boats with outriggers on them they're quite impressive and you've got big lights up at the top and the lights are there to attract the, the seafood the prawns there's some boats just going out now so between now which is sort of mid-afternoon late afternoon and and nightfall most of these boats will mosey on out to the out to the ocean and they'll bring their fresh catch back to Pasar Ikan Kadonganan so the um, fish markets at Kadonganan and uh, the, f the food is absolutely beautiful if you know what to buy and if you know where to go now generally if, if you're an outsider it's not uncommon for them to try and get rid of their older fish um, but I got Fee with me and not only she's an incredible negotiator but she's she's pretty ruthless on checking checking the the, f the fish and the crayfish and everything making sure we get the freshest possible ingredients now we've been coming here for a oh, year and a half now nearly every single Monday we come down here just because I love seafood and it's just sort of becoming a bit of a, a bit of a thing because now I've got people that are coming over to Bali so Maza, when are you going to go and do some seafood? So just about every single Monday night, this isn't an organised tour or anything. We just meet up with a heap of people that are following me on YouTube. We all go down to the markets. We put our money in, get feed and negotiate for us. And then we take it up the road to a, a, a restaurant where I've been going for a, at least a year. And they cook it up for us, give us some nice cold beers to wash it down with, and we have a fantastic night. So follow us. Just follow Fee at the moment. She's got some hot... Peanuts. Yeah, this guy here is fresh corn and steamed peanuts. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. And we've got we've got some friends of mine that have been here before. We've got newbies. We've got old Alan sitting there. He's already started on his beers. That's the first beer of the day, isn't it? <laughs> no. Second. <laughs> no. I think it's third. No, no. Um, and and Julie and Julia here as well as Dawn. And Jonathan's here as well. So Fee, you lead the way. Okay. Take us in there. Oh, it was real good. Yeah, the school was excellent. Yeah. Well, the traffic in Bali is crazy. Is it your first never, time? Never. <laughs> I've never heard anyone say that before. <laughs> Mud crabs, calamari, octopus. There's some, there's some small bugs. I love them. How are you doing? Look at that crate, look at that we call that. Yeah. There a, there's a snapper. Look at the size of that bugger. Wow. Lobster murah. Yeah. Oh. 450 kilo. Really? Yeah. Hey, these are the these are the um prawns I'll tell you about. Ini 160 kilo. Besar besar. Yeah, okay. There you go. Mahi Mahi. That's one. That's a big fish, that fella. Imagine a fight that fella. Oh my god. Imagine a big dolphin fish like that. How's it smell? It's not too bad. It's not, not bad. Once you're in here. It's a bad. Oh yeah, 
one kilo of hemp. One kilo of hemp. One kilo. One kilo. Yeah. 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 At about three dollars a kilo for live oysters, I've got to say they're big shells and you're paying by the kilo. But oh my god, they're beautiful oysters! Now, here she is. They look nice, honey. Good big ones, isn't it? Yeah. Now, Julie, you'll notice every single squid that she picks up, she'll drain the water out first, so we're not paying extra. <laughs> At least I can get one more squid from that. <laughs> hey, look at their eyes. Their eyes are nice and fresh, so you know they've come out of the water in the last probably 24 hours. I checked that with the scholars. Yeah. Yeah. And drains them all too. Yeah. Yeah. Not having that. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <coughs> so we still need oyster? Yeah. Fish? Baby GT. Hey, I've got to say, when I started coming here a year and a half ago, there's almost no whites ever in here. Now, every single Monday, there's, there's a good dozen or so. The biggest crowd we've had was nearly 50. Venus, oh. what we call blue bone or blue. Yeah. Venus fast. This is not a Luna, a Luna, Luna tar, yeah. no, no, that's parrot fish. Yeah, parrot fish. Ten dollar. Hey. <laughs> So if I can give you one little clue as to what to look for if you go and pick out your seafood, these things here, the eyes. If you see nice, bright, clear eyes, you know it's actually nice and fresh. Like Murray. Like like mine, not bloodshot, not worn out. Um, these ones are a little bit they're probably uh, yesterday, day before, but still, yeah, the flesh is nice and firm. But you want to go for the the good eyes. Same with fish, if they're sunken or if they looks like they've sort of shriveled up, they've probably been frozen. But uh, generally, generally the food here is pretty fresh. Now it's probably yesterday. It's a bit cloudy. Same there. Oh, that's a bit older. These ones probably caught like this morning last night. Look at that fellow there. He's nice and bright. Now, some people would pay thousands of dollars to have that in their fish tank. A big tusk fish. A big wrasse. But, oh. Now these all come from the reefs off Bali and I've got to say one of the best things that's ever happened to the fish industry in Bali is COVID because it gave it a really good respite, it gave it a good break where there was no people fishing and harvesting the food because there was no one here buying the food. But look, I tell you what, they've got some, some really, that's like a, like a Balmain bug. Fascinating, look at that little fella there, like that's a key ring. It's, it's, it's not even a nose ring, but and it's all head to tail. These guys eat everything. Hello, boss. Hey, thank you. Yeah, well, thank you.
Please Berapa grab. Berapa? Uh, Berapa? 250. 1 kilo. 250. 1 kilo. 1 kilo. 1 kilo. This one how many you want? This is not too big ya. Yeah. How many in 1 kilo? 1 kilo isi berapa? Ah, uh, coba. Hari, coba cek dulu, Mbak. Oh, ini kita. Nah. Well, you know, it's been a fairly warm day, but that was actually quite pleasant. It wasn't bad at all, Julie. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Well, actually, it's cooler in there. Yeah, and it, it smells less too. Yeah, it's not really bad. No, it's not on the nose too much. Right, so oysters were not worth getting because they're, they're, they're massive shells and they were like $8 a kilo from $3 a kilo. So you'd probably get like two oysters to the kilo. Um, but everything else we've got um, two kilos. We got some smaller river prawns and then instead of being 25 bucks, they turn out to be 15 bucks a kilo. So we thought, well, let's get a heap of them. We've got a heap of, of normal prawns as well. Yep. We've got some fish, we've got some squid, we've got some scallop, and we've got a good bunch of people to share with. So, yep. Life's good. Here's a good one. So, for today's little adventure, we've got, oh, let me guess, two kilos of king prawns. We've got, a, I think, two kilos of these freshwater river prawns, which have got a big pincer or two big arms on them. Beautiful, very, quite a firm flesh, and about half the price of what you pay for crayfish, but a very, very similar texture. We've got some scallops. We've got some, some beautiful reef fish. Um, calamari, we've got a, a good kilo or so, so of calamari, and, uh, and a heap of other stuff. So we're going to head up to the restaurant. Now, I've been going to just about all of the restaurants up and down the, the strip. And I'll take you to see some of the closest ones. Um, and to be honest, I haven't, I don't go back to those restaurants. I'm going, trying to be tactful here, but the ones I find closest to the market um, do not have the quality of chef staff or the or the care of the fish. But hey, look, they cook up a cheap feed and they only charge you about a dollar or two dollars a kilo. So whatever you buy at the markets for a dollar a kilo, they'll cook it up for you. They'll they'll serve you a beer to go with it and they've also got their own fish too so here he goes someone's come up and bought some fish oh, nice. Hello. he's cut them up now check this out here they got their big barbecue charcoal grill and you can see the prawns the fish all cooked over the open coals they cook them up to, to taste so if you want if you want spicy sauce, if you want garlic sauce or something, they'll, they'll do one especially for you. Alright, so where we're going is a place called Kampong Seafood. And I go there because they cook the fish and the prawns, especially the crayfish, better than anyone I've tried. Um, and I'm a bit fussy when it comes to how many crayfish is. It's got to be just nice texture. Um, other than that, good crowd. There's only a small crowd today, but we've probably spent... Well, less than a couple of hundred dollars and we've got enough feed we've got kilos of food and and we're going to have a great night so if you look down along the beach as far as i can see in every direction especially at night time you see the lights of all these restaurants and i've eaten at nearly all of them because i love seafood but also because i love good seafood and i will only take crayfish that's properly cooked i won't i hate it when it's overcooked it's rubbery, it's horrible. And I found these guys here. Now this is not a paid ad. This is a recommendation by someone who obviously knows how to eat well. But the guys here at Kampong Seafood have been looking after me for probably nearly 12 months. And honestly, the best crayfish I've ever tasted has been right here. We go down to the markets and buy it, like you've just seen. And then we bring it up here. Now these guys have got their own fish as well. They've got live crays, there we go. They've got some beautiful other fish in the tanks and they've got a whole heap of other seafood. They've got these giant big open air grills, the big charcoal grills, there we go, a bit of fish frying away. And a boss, expert chef, very good chef. And he, right, and here's the man, he's the big man. <laughs> because what we do is when we get here, <laughs> we firstly, we, we make sure we don't dehydrate. And then we go through, we weigh up 
all the fish and the different prawns and stuff that we've bought, we do up a shopping list or a cooking list. Fee gets in the kitchen, she's telling him, watch out, look at it. Oh, yeah. oh plenty, <laughs> yeah. Complicated. Yeah. Every day they have a much bigger job with us than they do with anyone. Thanks, but hey, thanks, brother. But, well, they do a great, they do a great food. And here's the ladies in the kitchen. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello, what's up, Hey, they do the sambal, they do the sauces. They're like, beautiful. Oh, there's so they make the food taste amazing and so i gotta let you know a little secret this is where our re wedding reception is going to be the guys have been so amazing to me that i've I, I said well i would love nothing more than to bring all my friends and family from around the world down here to sample the sample the food so here we are kampong seafood with the crazy bugger with kink in hey Ken. He's one of the troublemakers. Yudi's not here today. He's up in the village, but the ladies work really hard. And the guys work really hard to make sure all of our beers are cold. Hey, always got a smile. Keep it going, John. And look, obviously they've got another function here tonight because look at them, all the tables are made up. I've been here in a, in a, just about a hurricane. There was a tornado out there on the beach and we were sitting here in the nice, quiet, air-conditioned room. But look at this now. I've got to show you why we come here every week because it's just now the sun has just gone out of the heat of the sun it's just coming out of the day my whole camera's trying to catch up but look at this hello brother hello from bali yeah, 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 yeah. yeah all good yeah bloody bagus and look all the way up and down the beach all you can see is rows and rows of tables in the sand and what a magical place to sit down and have one of the best fees of your life. How's that walking stick working on the gr on the sand? <laughs> bit of bit of a challenge. Oh, He's okay. doing all right. Campong seafood. Look, they've got the little uh, the bamboo love heart up there as well. And obviously, hey, they must have a celebration tonight because look at this. That, that's a special one. I reckon. I reckon for our wedding, we're going to have something like that. Beautiful. Look at that. All flower petals everywhere. Absolutely lovely. Hello, boss. Hello, how are you? You good? Bagus. So here we are. We got a decent little table of people. We got some a corn maker all the way along. This is the whole of Jimbran Bay from Uluwatu Peninsula all the way along. Now I'll show you the markets are around down there where that big uh, big tower is. And if you look carefully over there, you'll see some, some planes lining up on the runway because that's the airport. So this is Jimbran Bay. The middle of, of downtown Bali is just beautiful and we've got a good crowd of people. Here we go, the beers are kind of coming down so they're going to be lubricated in a few minutes. I'm going to, okay you can put on pressure. Sorry. And, and we're having those steamed um, peanuts, how are they? They're nice aren't they? Yeah, beautiful. And here we go, the bintangs come out. Yeah, thank you. And the night's about to start so Fee, you've done a bloody good job again negotiating and picking out the best quality fish. We've got a couple of return customers that have been here about a year ago and they've come back for more. So it can't be too bad. And a, and a couple of newbies that haven't been here, but Al, welcome to welcome to our little spot. You're going to be here for my wedding, aren't you? Bloody hell, well. Would not miss it. <laughs> there you go, brother. Oh, look. How, how good is this? Fabulous. Oh, they got peanut envy now, have they? They have. <laughs> I reckon they see us. They just see us bring out the nuts. We have. Uh, oh, no. We call this is Bali nut. Bali nut. Oh, yeah. Small can't... but tasty. You're a Bali nut. <laughs> this man, small but tasty. You're Bali a, nut. You're a Bali nut. Ah, uh, it's Bali nut. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it just doesn't stop. Oh, life in Bali. Hey, I've said it once or twice, but I just want you to imagine in a few moments. That sun's going to go down a little bit further over the horizon. Got a little bit of wispy cloud, that's likely to colour up. You see the big statue up there in Uluwatu. Once upon a time there was only a few restaurants along this whole foreshore. And now there's hundreds of them just about all the way across to the big resorts down the top of Uluwatu. But where would you rather be? Is there any place in the world that you'd rather be than right here right now? Beautiful weather, the temperature is just perfect. And the food is unbelievable sensational and 
exactly right in the middle of it. So as the foods turn up, and look at this, the sunset's just about to set up. The restaurant's starting to fill up, and look at this table. This is what you get for, for bugger all if you know where to buy it. We get King Kim serving the rice. From the Facebook. <laughs> look at this, so we've got we've got some beautiful so reef fish over here and some lemon butter. We've got these long clippered okay. uh, freshwater prawns. We've got some king prawns, scallops. Look at that calamari there. And Hey. Ten minutes ago, that was a whole, <laughs> a whole squid. <laughs> Hello, and Fee was the one that negotiated a hundred percent of what we've got. Pick every. Like, did you notice when she was picking out the calamari, she empties them upside down so there's no water in them, so she's not getting ripped off. <laughs> oh my god. Now Alan doesn't like his garlic, so we've made some special consideration for oh him. Look at that fish there. Oh, he's got better teeth than you, fella. Bloody oh my god. So you try a bit of that. We got some chips on there as well. We got some scallops. Oh my god! And guys, dig in. Welcome back to Bali for you guys. Thanks. Yeah, Welcome to Bali for those. Oh, you guys are back to Bali. And you, you're, you live here. So. always in Bali. So let me let you just uh, let you know what's going on. If you're coming to Bali and you love seafood. The best way of getting what I believe is probably the best deal in Bali is to meet up with Maza, this fellow here, and my crew. Come over here, we, get, we go to the markets together, we buy the food together, we come down here to my mate, Ken Ken and Yudi. They cook the food up amazingly, and you end up with this big tummy. Honestly, it's, it's some of the best food around. We watch the sunset over our shoulders. We watch the planes taking off into the evening. They've even got live music here, and I love the place so much. I'm getting married and having my wedding reception right here. So, big ups. Amazing food, amazing people, and I better get up to my table and eat it before someone else does. Oh, I'm not invited. <laughs> Here at Camp Hong Seafood wouldn't be the same without the band. Stand by me, oh, stand by me, <laughs> stand by me, stand by me, stand by me, stand by me, darling, darling, stand by me, oh, stand by me, ding dong, ding dong, ding, stand by me, ding dong, ding, stand by me, stand by me. Hey, how's it? How's your night been so far, Al? Um, it's been pretty bloody good, Bell. He knows what it is. I do me something. Ding dong, ding dong, ding. I don't hold your hand. 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 Sing, sing, sing. Ding dong, ding dong, ding. I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand. And when you touch me, I feel happy inside. It's such a feeling that little Julie, she can hide, she can hide, she can hide. Dong, dang, dong, dang. <laughs> Come on, sing. Uh, uh, dang, dong, dang, dong, dang. I wanna, I wanna hold, hold your hand. hand. I wanna I hold, hold your hand. hand. I wanna hold your ding dong. No, no, no. I wanna hold your hand. Hey. <laughs> so, Hey, listen, we've had an amazing night. Every single Monday night, it turns into a little bit of fun. A lot of fun, actually. And I just want to take you now, the, the lights are all down. Check this place out, man. Jimboran Bay is just like a diamond. It's beautiful. If you look all the way down the bay, 
right the way to Uluwatu, all you can see restaurants and establishments just all the way along. Beautiful. There's little bands, there's little little carts. Oh mate selling his selling his corn. And we have had the most beautiful, beautiful night. There's nothing more romantic. Look at these guys here. Sitting in a in a sand. Hello! Sitting there watching the sun, the planes come and go, the sunset, and eating some of the best seafood in the world. Guys, I love Monday nights because it's my night here in Bali. Then we come up here and we have a little spoil. So if you're coming over, the best seafood in Bali is right here in Jimboran. Love your work. See you when you get here. Gandhi Road, take me home, man. Take me home. Take me home. And can't it all.